The lights on. Here we go for the 2017 Metropolitan and the gates open. They're off and racing. Lifeless Audrey, the favourite, immediately being snagged back towards the tail. Big Duke as well. And Broadside and Foundry with the first two out with Chicante right there, but Broadside's committed to going on with that. Who shot the barman's a pretty handy fourth in the early part of the race. Then Antonio Giuseppe, who's given a bit of a dig up to get right up outside. Who shot the barman? Libran's going through on the rail, so who shot the barman? Half cutting at this stage, followed by Big Duke. Further back to my Diamantine from Destiny's Kiss and the favourite Lifeless Ordinary is back last of all. So Broadside leads as expected at the 1800 metres with Chicante coming away from the rails to sit up at the quarters of the leader and who shot the barman can probe through on the fence into third. Foundry fourth one out one back followed by Libran three back the inside of Antonio Giuseppe. Big Duke is getting close up behind them. Travelling pretty keen Big Duke. Back third last is my, by, my Diamantine from Destiny's Kiss. Lifeless Ordinary Ordinary's last and about nine lengths off the leader, which is broadside by three quarters to Chicante at the 1400. The nine year old who shot the barman tucked away third. Foundry's got his spot today in fourth. There followed three pairs back then to Libran, the Kingston Town winner on the inside of Antonio Giuseppe. A length then came to Big G from My Diamantine, Destiny's Kiss, and still last of all is Lifeless Ordinary. There's no change to the order. Broadside looks to have upped the tempo a little bit at this point. Two lengths clear now from Chicante and Corey Brown sits very quietly on Chicante at this stage. Who shot the barman third, then Foundry. Further back to Libran on the inside of Antonio Giuseppe. After length came Big Duke from My Diamantine. Destiny's Kiss and Lifeless Audrey. 800 metres is still back last. It's broadside. Clark trying to quicken up here on the Newcastle Cup winner from Chicante and Foundry gets going now. Foundry moving up on the outside of Chicante. Bowman sits quietly on Who Shot the Barman. Libran's popping off, slicing through. Then Antonio Giuseppe. Big Duke's taking inside runs. Favourite still last, Lifeless Audrey. 400 out, broadside in front of Chicante. Then came Foundry. Libran working into the clear. And then came Who Shot the Barman. Big Duke up the fence. Broadside being challenged by Chicante. Foundry's trying hard. Big Duke's getting a split near the rails. Foundry takes the lead. Foundry hits the lead in the Metropolitan. From Big Duke, they beat off Chicante. But Foundry in front and Foundry for Michael D takes out the Metropolitan, a half length to Big Duke, Chicante third, followed up by Who Shot the Barman and Broadside, further back to Libran, Antonio Giuseppe, My Diamantine, Lifeless Ordinary was last all of the way. Foundry has won the Metropolitan for Robert Hickmont, the trainer, and Michael D gets a group one here in Sydney, and Lloyd Williams, when he comes to Sydney, he rarely comes to Sydney, he does come for the big staying races, and he rarely goes home empty-handed, Duff. Yeah, hardly ever. Jeez, he was put into a beautiful spot. He made his move. He got him into a rhythm, and he simply outstayed him. Third up after a year off. That's a strong, strong win uh, from, a, from a nice horse who gets in light and gets a lovely, lovely ride. The two Victorians, they were too good. They beat the Kiwi into third spot. Uh, not much left for the New South Wales horses there. Foundry has scored a big win in the Metropolitan. Seeing the head on here. Broadside tried to lead all the way, got tied down the straight. Chicante are in a huge race. Big Duke gets between Broadside and Chicante. Foundry comes at them and is too strong. Too strong. 227.73 is the time. We're just waiting for all the officials to go up, but Michael D gets a big group one here in Sydney. I'd like to win a Metropolitan. I can't believe it, Bernie. Oh, credit to the horse. He, he fought hard. We, we put it to him on the corner and we were at our top at the 400 and uh, he toughed it right out to the line like a, like a genuine European stayer. Indeed, he literally outstayed them, didn't he? Yeah, for sure. And uh, we got a lovely run in the race and uh, we just peeled out at the 800 like uh, Lloyd said, just to Make sure it's a true scientist and just credit to this big boy. Indeed, and uh, it's not bad getting a bit of that Sydney cash either, is it? Oh, for sure. Any, any sort of Aussie cash is good, but uh, to get, come up here, I run third in the race last year, just and to go two better, oh, I can't believe it. He's going to be special to you for a long time. For sure, for sure. Enjoy the win, mate. Thank you.